Hi, this is Andy Doctor. Today, I am going to show you a trick that you need to do in order to play 1080p video from YouTube on Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. And this trick should work on any single board computer or even a regular desktop or laptop computer if you have really, really old hardware. Now, I already did this. And here I show you the result first. Now my CPU is low, 20 something, uh, 40 something, maybe 50 something. And occasionally it may go to 70 something. And the video is smooth. But let me tell you this. Before I did this trick, the video was choppy and the CPU uses was constantly 90 plus percent. The playback experience was horrible. But this makes a huge difference. By the way, I am showing my old video to avoid any potential copyright issue. And for those who do not know what a Raspberry Pi is, this is my Raspberry Pi. It's a Pi 4, by the way. It's a credit card size computer that can do many things, including use as a desktop. So, very tiny computer, and that's why the resource is quite limited. Uh, and again, if you have a really old desktop or laptop computer, this procedure will apply also. So let's pause the video and let me show you what I did and how you should do it. Basically, what you need to do is you should install a extension called H264IFY. And the way to install it is we just Google it. So let's Google it, H264IFY, and we just click enter. And you see, you can install it in both Chrome or Firefox. Of course, for those of who know single board computer, we in fact don't have Chrome, but we use a open source version of Chrome called Chromium. It looks exactly the same, honestly. But anyhow, if you are using Chrome, click this one. If you use Firefox, click the other one. And after you click on it, it will take you to the official website at Google, in this case. Uh, I already installed it, so my only option is to Remove it. No, I am not going to do that. For your computer though, it will say add to Chrome instead, not removing it. And you just click it, it will install. It takes a few seconds, very small file. And make sure you restart your computer. Now, technically, installing an extension usually doesn't require rebooting, but I found out that if I don't, did not reboot it, it did not make a difference at all. But after rebooting, it was so good, so good. So going from 90 plus percent CPU use to maybe 30, 40 percent on average, and from choppy videos, losing frame to totally smooth. So give it a try if you have the same issue. And if this video is helpful for you, if you could, please like this video. And if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am working really hard to increase my subscription base and your assistance is highly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.